and welcome back to our coverage of the WPT online series in partnership with Party Poker. I have an exciting guest for you today as I am joined by the man who took down the main event, beating an impressive field of 1,065 entries, our newest WPT champion, Christian Rudolph. Christian not only wins the prize money of $487,443, but he also wins a Hublot watch and his name engraved on the Mike Sexton WPT Champions Cup. Thanks for joining me, Christian. Hi, nice to uh, <laughs> meet you. <laughs> How does it feel to be a WPT champion? It's an awesome feeling. It's just, there was this COVID season every day. There was like a lot of tournaments for like almost one and a half years and I was mentally lost and I, w I just wanted to start the vacation on Monday and now it starts on Thursday but still feels very good so yeah perfect timing <laughs> and how does this win differ from your other career highlights I play for winning obviously for cash as well but my girlfriend is always like oh man come on you, you finished third second and I had like a lot of uh, second and third nothing feels better than a win right <laughs> and especially when it's a WPT title win <laughs> yes last night was a marathon of a run like you guys were playing for hours on end. You said you didn't finish till five in the morning your time. But what are your secrets to staying so strong during such a long tournament? It's just a routine, right? So like I make like four coffees just to get prepared, take a shower, probably take a small walk outside. And I try to, to do it every day to get really good preparation for the tournament. And was there anyone at the final table that you were particularly afraid of or you had your eye more on than the others? I think this was like pretty hard at the final table. There was like really a lot of good players and so many different player types. Really hard to manage. Oxoda, for example, you know uh, how, to, how he plays. You have to watch some of his uh, final tables. And I don't know, like this, there was basically a lot of really, really, really good players. I'm a little bit upset with you today, Christian, because I've noticed that you're not wearing any of your usual accessories. We've noticed that you have quite the eclectic taste for headwear whilst you're playing poker. Is there yeah. a specific reason for these accessories? I mean, if you need some types of luck, you just start believing, right? And I've learned this from Ole and a lot of other players uh, that you have to believe in something. And obviously I had the head yesterday and or I had my seven socks on yesterday, but <laughs> this is the reason I don't wear it right now. Do, do I need it now? Not now. <laughs> and it's really good to have some stuff you believe in. So aside from the poker table, what else would we find you spending your time doing? Uh, playing with my son and uh, on the computer playing some games. I don't know, like, to be honest, I can't even, I can't uh, even remember how it is to, <laughs> to take <laughs> time off. How many hours on average a day would you say that you spend practicing and, and working on your poker? 15 hours a day. Do you have any plans this year for live events? Yes, I actually plan to go to Vegas, depending on how the travel situation is. I'm really looking forward to play live, but it will be more like probably meeting old friends, saying, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you got fat in the last uh, one and a half <laughs> year, bro. Hi, Christian. Well, I'll let you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me today. It was great to get to know you a bit better. All right, thank you. It was a nice chat with you as well. And see you mm -hmm. and have, have a nice evening.